Wait, wait, wait. Hello everyone. I'm back. Okay, so I was discharged from hospital yesterday. Um, last week in Monday, I went for a biopsy on my um, left ankle. And the results came back that the cancer is about three quarter filling the, the ankle. Uh, it has spread into the bone. So we're going to start radiation in the next few days on the ankle. And this will take place over 10 days. Then we're going to have a little break, seven days. And then I'm going to start uh, chemotherapy. That's for the soft tissue sarcoma. Uh, METS stage 4 for the lungs and at the same time for the cancer that split to the ankle and um, last week and Thursday I suffered um, a, a mini stroke my f face pulled stuff from the one side just went lame and my left hand uh, was not functional um, then I was rushed to hospital. They did the MRI and they spotted that something, yes, did happen. And I was in hospital doing tests, more tests and uh, therapy and uh, physiotherapy and rehabilitation and um, also getting better. I want to say how amazing the staff is once again at Vincent Pilotti. Uh, this time around I was in high care, uh, orthopedic uh, high care unit at Vincent Pilotti. And I must say, the sisters there, the staff, they on another level, high caliber. I was so impressed. Uh, they know this stuff. They are amazing so here i am last night i was a bit up all night i had a chest uh little chest problem i put my oxygen on so i can because it was tight and then obviously i was given blood thinners and this morning some of the little phlegm had a, a spot of blood but I'm much better now. I'm not coughing. I took what the, my doctor prescribed me and it's helping. And uh, my niece is here. Um, Keen is here. <laughs> and uh, oh, and I have a one. This is like a monitor here for my heart. And the reason why I had the half mini stroke was my blood sugar is perfect. My high blood pressure, my blood pressure is perfect. It was, the blood has thickened due to my cancer, the cancer that I have. And for those who don't know, I have stage 4 soft tissue sarcoma uh, cancer. And uh, it's quite a rare cancer and very difficult to treat. Keep that in mind, very difficult to treat. Um, there is not a, v a high survival rate if it has metastasized. Uh, so um, we're just taking it one day at a time, fighting with everything we have inside of us and staying positive. I want to send a shout out to Janine, who was my uh, uh, roomie in hospital, who just, uh, she just blew my mind away with encouraging words, profound um, wisdom, and that I'll never forget. And I am sure we will remain friends for the rest of our lives. Janine and Paul, thank you so much. And what else? I'm on uh, my pain management is um, going very well. Um, I'm on very, very strong meds. So I can now, you know, enjoy my day better. Uh, I am not allowed to uh, put any pressure on my left foot so I get around with a wheelchair um, I get assistance in bed um, helping me get around doing things like cleaning brushing teeth there's quite a lot of things I can do myself but I, I'm not mobile at the moment so yeah that's it and Wasila Zapana say Hanumak Manskeri not for me I can't do spicy 
Uh, my appetite has changed drastically. I, I am, I have, uh, I don't know if it's the meds or just this whole process of what happened, but uh, uh, it, my appetite comes and goes. Uh, I miss you guys uh, so much. I love you guys so much. <laughs> so yeah, we're keeping positive and my niece will be doing some videos so we're gonna call it um teaching the next generation how to cook cape malay food so she'll do some videos i'll do um voice over and kind of uh tell you guys what she's doing where she went right where she went wrong uh, did she do um the recipe right and maybe we'll taste but yeah so here and there we'll do that we just i'm taking it easy so um she'll be doing some videos and she's quite excited about that she'll start next week and then we'll load up a video maybe once or twice a week um and then in that i'm i'm doing good i'm really doing good i wasn't doing good <laughs> the last uh yeah, it was it was difficult. It was very very difficult, but I pushed through. Uh, so, guys, just stay positive. Um, every day is a blessing. To wake up every morning is is a blessing. To be grateful for everything. And uh, a big thank you to everyone who came to visit me in hospital and brought me food and uh, cards and flowers. Uh, Fatima, my family came, all of them. Uh, Tyron Paulson and Carmen Tim, as always, you always stand by me and support me. Um, to everyone else, you know who you are. Uh, yeah. Ik ga nou rus. I'm going to drink some, uh, some concoction they made for me, like with ginger and stuff. Because I do feel nausea. I do have uh, anti-nausea medication. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I am very grateful that I have this moment to talk to you guys. And uh, just to tell you I'm doing good and uh, I'm resting well and taking it one day at a time. I love you guys. Uh, I'll be back again with another video. Not that <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hmm. Oh, sorry about that, guys. And then, of course, I got the, my editor sent me the the look of the, the picture, the cover of my new cookbook. It looks... <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Uh, that's how it goes um, with my, my chest. So, I'm going to go because I feel it coming. Uh, so, yes, love you guys and stay positive. Don't forget to smile and make someone's day and be kind. Love you. Bye.